anyway. Okay, Sejin Kanayan, or however you pronounce that. Um, this is the last one. And once again, at the start, we're going to be hiding. But I believe that as long as you hide, then it doesn't trigger a rush. So you do get time to build yourself up. We're going to be in the bottom right of the map with just some food and wood. There are going to be some cliffs and like air cliffy areas over to the left that has golden stone. And then over in the north of the map, across the river, there's going to be a massive base that we've got to destroy the government center of. Now, the government center in Age of Empires 1 is kind of like the university in Age of Empires 2 in that it has like cool upgrades like ballistics and uh, chemistry, the chemistry equivalent, which I think is called alchemy. Um, yeah, it's the sort of an equivalent of siege engineers f to give you like your catapult units more range, that sort of stuff. Um, so we're basically going to go and destroy the Canaanite University in, if you, in AOE 2 terms or government center in AOE 1 terms. See, it wants me to take it step by step. Like as I was saying, start out in the south, then conquer this area and then to get the Golden Stone, then go over the river. Um, starting off with some clubmen and some bowmen this time, just going to make things a lot, lot easier. I will build my wood chopping area up here, where the forest is, because it's a little bit more out of the way from the enemy troops that are literally here. There's a possibility that if they come down off that ridge, I'll be able to continue gathering wood on, in safety at least up here. Well, we can see I'm in the Stone Age here, so it's going to take me a while to build up. And if they do attack now, then these bowmen are going to be pretty valuable. Like, I can replace the clubmen, the equivalent of militia. Um, but I don't want to be losing these bowmen. But I think as long as I stay here and don't move too far from where I am, I won't get attacked. Pyrosaurus Rex, you've been around for longer than this to know that I'm not Taff, what the hell? <laughs> um, no, I won't learn to speedrun it. Like I, I say, I just want to play it through um, casually. Like after I've done this, people were asking like, can I do Age of Mythology? Can I do um, Empire Earth? Like I will consider that. Like enter my head, maybe I could do a let's play of, not every, but a majority of the games that you can actually play on Voobly, like there are even a couple of FPS's that are actually really like old games that I played when I was a kid that are really cool, um, like Outlaws and Jedi Knight, like potentially I could do those too, there might not be so much interest in that but it'll be good stuff to have for the Voobly YouTube as well, um, but I definitely look at um, AoE 3, Empire Earth, Age of Mythology, Rise of Nations, Total Annihilation, we'll see, like maybe. Maybe I will do those. Obviously, we're talking months and months down the line here as well. Because um, it's going to take me uh, probably many weeks to actually finish um, Age of Empires 1 as well. It just occurred to me that I probably want to go to the um, Tool Age before using up too much of the natural food here. Uh, just so I can make farms, because I think I'm going to need to have, um, that's probably going to be one of my only ways to, to get food. There is a fish up here at least, but I literally can't afford to go past here, otherwise they will attack me with the same kind of rush that we saw in the previous game. And I'm in the Stone Age this time, so I have no options. Can I actually not reach that fish? Why is there a shore fish in two tiles in? Can you see that? That is messed up. <laughs> now there's some berries there, but I believe the enemy is probably taking them by now. I really just want to get 500 food in the bank. Uh, and go up to the toolage. Hopefully there's enough left in these berry bushes, which there is. That's great. 
Not being able to build farms in the, until the tool age would have really messed me up here if I hadn't realised and stopped and cut villager production when I did. I think I'd have only been able to build like two more villagers before I'd have screwed it up. I'm going to put it on a higher speed for a bit. Build this houses down here. Yeah, Age of Empires Online, I guess you could kind of call that AoE 4, although there's been a number of um, AoE spin-offs as well, hasn't there? In recent times, like mobile games, which, I don't know, like AoE 4 wasn't bad, it was just not what you would have been expecting from something that could potentially have, have been AoE 4, have been really good. You know, I'm sure that if Microsoft did want to make a proper, fully fleshed out AoE 4 with all the features that we'd want to see, then... It would do really well, but they just don't seem interested. Like someone even asked Bill Gates to make a new Age of Empires in a Reddit Ask Me Anything, and um, he <laughs> just did just passed it up. He was like, "How many empires do you need?" I think that was his response. And people were like, "All of them." So not can't really do much at the moment other than collect wood because. Um, I need to get to Tool Age and build a market and then start building farms. I could build a dock and go over here and try and get these berry bushes, but that could trigger an attack. So I'm going to go with the more clandestine approach, uh, using that that word, see if I can draw Smarfy out if she's here. <laughs> she loves those killer bee words. Let's do that market. As soon as that's markets up, I can build some farms. <laughs> I guess I could build a farm like that. It's not going to block people too much. I guess the only bills that come out here might be blocked actually. That was probably a dumb idea. <laughs> People are saying farms are a good wall, they've only got 50 HP. I wouldn't like to be walling with farms. <clears throat> Get the Axeman upgrade. I'll think about pushing out fairly soon. I think most of the units on here are Tool Age type units, so as like, well, now that I've got Tool Age army, um, I'll be fine. I can also make use of Slingers to deal with the towers. Now they are a Rise of Rome unit, so they're not an Age of Empires 1 unit. Um, so it's kind of cheap, but uh, I will use it. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. I leave a deep building. No, I was wondering if I'd left an idle villager there. We'll definitely want to get this equivalent of horse collar before. Um, I have to resee all these farms again. Like, I need to get going with the farms um, before I did it the first time, but <laughs> I'm not receiving all these without the horse collar next time. Domestication. First domestication of animals, there you go. Oh, 
Ah, here we go. The scouts have found me. Now you just see how close that. I need to slow this game down. You see how close this uh, these are. Uh, oh crap! There's still a lot of people. Let's see if I can quickly get the uh, infantry armor upgrade. Mostly clubmen though, and they don't have upgrades. So as soon as I get like plus two. Whoa! <laughs> this was a bit unexpected. This is like everything on the map attacking me at once. Do we? Oh, I'm not. That's why my stuff's dying. I'm not an enemy to them. Probably go with a slinger at this point actually to deal with these bowmen. Slingers are like skirmishers, except they also get bonuses against towers. Which is pretty weird. But a very nice, like nifty thing. That you, it gives you a, a non-siege unit that can deal with towers before you get to the later ages. A lot of death there, <laughs> but that's fortunately probably gotten rid of almost every unit on the map that they started with. get that stone mining upgrade because what it also does is make the slingers more powerful so you get better stone mine and it upgrades your troops that's, that throw stones at the enemy <laughs> do another granary at this point I think really probably just do it here I said I was going to get horse collar didn't I domestication I'm going to keep using AOE 2 turns, it's just going to happen. Well, we can go and deal with this tower pretty easy at this point. because I don't think it will apply to farms that um, are built. Like if I click to start building it, it will already be too late. Yeah, there are, there are uh, hill bonuses and I believe cliff bonuses as well. I think the cliff bonus applies, like I should have sent my units onto that, onto the ridge to actually attack that tower really. It would have been better. I've just heard a farm run out, but I can't, oh, it's this guy. Oh, 
It should be pretty empty up here after that massive swarm that attacked me. Should be like one more, one or two more towers on the ridge, possibly. And now the pathfinding is absolutely screwed. Look at this. That bowman is blocking everybody in. Basically just waiting for food for Bronze Age now and I'll also start going to gather some golden stone from up here. Oh, I'll just do one storage pit in the middle. Okay, it's empty. Yeah, archers no gold. You can create normal bowmen with no gold. Once you get to the next stage, you'll get a different type of bowmen that you can make that cost gold. That's better, but the default ones don't cost gold, which makes them pretty great. Look at this guy, absolutely stuck. What an idiot! Never gonna find his way home. Did click up, didn't I? Yep. Uh, let's go. Let's go with this as well, because I'll probably want it later. Because what once uh, I know, I'll probably switch to some kind of maybe camels or something. I don't know to finish the mission. We saw how effective they were in the last one. Pretty sure the Egyptians don't get any kind of cavalry at all. So maybe I'll do chariot archers or, or ca chariots and camels. AOV, I like a font of knowledge about AOC, or AOE even. <laughs> so in the original game, to click, double click would cancel the unit because the stop button appears in the place. That's pretty crazy. Like I, I would have had that happen to me, but I probably haven't played AOE without the original, without the expansion applied since, basically since the expansion came out. Yeah, I guess we got camels. I'm gonna have to mute my mic for a little while, guys. Erectus. 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 
Abadakas.
I've been talking away for ages when I was going to um, actually uh, <laughs> like I thought I'd turn my mic back on so if people are asking in the chat why why camels I'm not sure if I was muted at that point um, but re reason being um, the camel was the hero the MVP of the previous mission so I thought why not go with the camel route in this mission because since I can basically do whatever I want at that point I didn't mean to be muted for all that time, so guys, I do apologise. <laughs> um, I don't think you could have gone to the Iron Age in that scenario, I'm not sure. Um, so horse archers and helipolis may not have been an option. And make different mu units please the viewers exactly, yeah. So learning campaign is done. Uh, and I guess I could do the first mission of the Greek campaign. By the way, guys, you said, uh, why do you not talk to us? I didn't mean to remain muted for all that time. Um, if, like, if I do remain muted for such, like, or don't seem to be talking for such an extended period of time in the future, please uh, do mention it, because it might be that it's completely unintentional. Um, but yeah, I guess we could have a go at the Greek campaign in just a moment. Uh, 